Hi, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. Thanks for checking out my channel. And no, this isn't a joke. This guitar was $71 US. I'm in Canada, so I paid 71 US. And this is in 2014. And so inflation, we're talking about 75 bucks today. Still crazy cheap. So yeah, this video is going to be all about this $71 Stratocaster clone from a company called Monoprice. And they're a company in the States. They usually, uh, well, I know them for selling like HDMI cables and electronics, stuff like that. But I think around 2013, 2014, they started selling guitars and amps. And at the time, they had uh, Tele clones and Strat clones. And I think they made this one in a white version and also a candy apple red and this, this sunburst one. So they had a sale, uh, it was 10 bucks off. So the guitar was already around 80 something. And they were selling them for $71 all in. I'll put that up on the screen. You can actually see the price. Uh, I bought one and a good friend of mine bought one at the same time. So I've actually got two here to show off. So I've got my guitar over there, which I've modded heavily, and I've got an all stock original. So we're going to go through what you get for $71 and why I think this is probably the best deal I've ever seen on a guitar. We're in 2019 now. This is five years ago that these were purchased. Uh, it's becoming more common to find guitars that are just well made. These are made in China. You can find a lot more models these days that are well made and cheap. But five years ago, that was pretty rare. Um, if you were gonna find something in that price range, actually there's nothing in that price range. $71 didn't really exist. You're looking at already a hundred and something for a Squire Bullet. So before we get into uh, all the details about it, I will say the prized piece of this guitar and what makes it so amazing is the neck. It's got an amazing satin finish. And I'll try to get some close-ups. You can see the stock stickers are still left on the tuners. Um, not everything about the guitar is amazing, but overall, it's like you can't beat it for $71. So I bought mine completely with the intention of, of modding it, not expecting it to be any good at all. So we'll go over the stock version. We'll go over my guitar over there and all the upgrades I've done. And we'll do some playbacks, compare the tones to, of the two. And then, uh, yeah, just go over everything about this guitar. So it's no longer in stock. Uh, the, sorry, it's no longer in production with Monoprice. They have a new line out. I think it's called the Indio line, which has replaced it. Um, if you can find one of these online and you can find a good deal for it, I would not hesitate going for it. So let's go over all this. Let's get these off here, first of all. Squeaky, squeaky. Get out of here. Let's go over all the specs of this guitar. It's a sunburst. It's actually a really beautiful sunburst. I've got the back plate off just so we can look at it later. The parts inside of it. Uh, the sunburst is really impressive on this. It's a basswood body as well, but it has some nice grain through it. Really nice. The finish on it is really great. As I mentioned before, so let's start at the top here. The tuners are probably the low point of the guitar and much of the metal. It's the cheap cheap metal you'll find on Squire Bullets, Squire Affinity. Easily upgradable, so not a big deal. The fret edges, there's a couple sharp ones. They're not too bad though. I've seen a lot worse. And that, again, that's easily corrected. The neck though on this thing, it's got like a satiny finish. I'd compare it to maybe a made in Mexico a made in Mexico Strat, something like that. It's just really, really nice. It's not sticky and it's not, well, if you know the bullet line and the affinity line, they have less finish on them. Some people like it, but to me, this is awesome. They did a great job on the, on the frets and the nut as well. So it's a rosewood fingerboard on a maple neck. It's a bolt on, just like a fender. Uh, I've got three pickups. It's a standard Stratocaster setup, five-way switch. Two tones, one volume, a six screw trim system here. There is a tremolo bar that I have somewhere. The saddles are, are again, this is the cheap metal, right? Something that can be replaced, but they're okay. Let's take a look inside. You see it's got the three spring, a very small trim block. Uh, the metal's cheap in there. But overall, the body, the neck, the frets, and actually the pickups, they're pretty decent. 71 bucks. I don't think you can beat that. I really don't think you can beat that. So that's all stock. All right. So now let's compare that to my modded version. I'll go over how much I actually put into this guitar. It's kind of funny. I put in more, I spent more on the, uh, the, the upgrades than the guitar is actually worth. 
Tuners were 60 bucks. Pickups, 150. And the wiring, I would say about 30 to 40 bucks. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, you're looking at another 200 plus upgrades, right? On a $71 guitar. So, exact same guitar. It's a basswood body, rosewood, maple neck. Rosewood fingerboard on a maple neck. Really nice finish again on the neck. They did a great job. And uh, the headstock is actually pretty appealing. I think it, it kind of almost looks like a fender. What did I change on this versus the other one? Okay, first thing you'll see there, I've got some Grover tuners. I don't remember the exact model I picked. This is a few years back. They could be the mini locking. Uh, so you can see close up there. So originally I bought this guitar with the idea of putting in some lace sensors. And this is a lace sensor value pack. It's got a blue, a silver, and a red. So we'll compare that to the, the stock pickup. See if you prefer that over uh, the stock single coils that come in that. The, the knobs are just cosmetic. I did replace the pots inside. It came with, I'll show some pictures. I've got a lot of pictures when I was doing the upgrade. Um, it came with the smaller, the smaller size pots, cheap Chinese ones. Uh, I also replaced the five-way switch with an official fender. Uh, I got CTS pots in there. That was mainly it. So yeah, so the internal, the wiring, the pickups, and the tuners. Otherwise, the guitar didn't need anything else. Back plates on this one. So back to the original with all stock. Let's just pull off one of these pickups here. For a second, sorry. Just bear away from me for a second. It's kind of hard to do. I don't recommend you doing this, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, just popped off one of the... Uh, the original pickups you can see here it's uh you know your typical ceramic cheap pickup but they sound pretty good and i'll just pop that back in there okay hollywood magic there we go the switch inside it is well i'll just pull that out as well just give me a sec here okay i gotta pop that out don't do this at home there we go got one of your circuit board printed very cheap switch right you can just feel the quality difference between this and a standard one that you'd get on a Fender guitar. So that's been replaced. I'll just stick that back in here. Not fake. It's all real. There we go. Okay, I've gone over all the specs. Let's uh, get into some playing. There we go. You heard an all stock. You heard my mega modded version here. Let me know what you thought of each one. They definitely sound different. The uh, I think the uh, the stock pickups in this one are actually really good. I don't know that I actually needed to do this upgrade. I just wanted to. It was uh, this taught me how to do soldering. So, and I mean for seventy one dollars, I wasn't really worried about making mistakes if I had damaged the body or just you know it's just something a project guitar that ended up being really, really good. So 
You won't find it on their website anymore. Monoprice doesn't sell this one. Again, I mentioned it's, it's a discontinued model. Um, if you can find one online for a good price, I wouldn't pay too much for it because you can see that I think maximum price they were online, they were selling for $89. I think that's the highest they ever went, which is still a killer, super deal. So if you're lucky enough to find one of these, uh, you got a great deal. If this was a Fender guitar or a Squire guitar, I would say they fall somewhere in between the Squire Affinity line and a Squire Classic Vibe or uh, Made in Mexico. Somewhere in there, just because the, uh, the quality is really good. Like the neck is definitely a lot higher quality than uh, an Affinity. Just the finish anyways. Maybe quality is not the right word, but the fit and finish on it. It's really great. So yeah, they also came with a super cheap gig bag. I mean, it's, it was a throwaway thing. It wasn't really a good quality one, but still it was nice that they added that in. I'm not sure if they still do it, but this was included with it. They claim that it was set up by a luthier in, uh, oh, I can't remember the city that it's in. They're, they're somewhere in California, 71 bucks. I don't think you'll ever beat that. I don't expect to ever find a guitar at that low a price ever again that has quality like this. And it's new. This was a new guitar. It wasn't a used, uh, like a B, it wasn't B stock. It wasn't used. I didn't buy it aftermarket. It was brand new from the store, shipped to my door. If you can find one, go for it. No regrets. This thing is really cool. And it's light too. It's basswood, right? Very light. That will do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever found a guitar, a new guitar that is good, really good quality for a great price. I'm not asking you to try to beat $71. I'm just saying, let me know if you've had any, any uh, great finds like this. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Again, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. And as I always say, play guitar and have fun. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.